For over 20 years, I was trapped in repeated cycles of incarceration, molestation, and degradation. Homeless when I was on the outside, relegated to a number and forced into a two-by-two -two cage when I was on the inside, I cycled through layers of trauma and pain I neither acknowledged nor understood. Prison is not an environment conducive to healing, but for me, the opportunity to heal presented itself there. I participated in a pilot program that used A Woman's Way Through the Twelve Steps by Dr. Stephanie Covington, who had already gained reputation within her fields of addiction and trauma and was expanding into programming for incarcerated women. Prior to Dr. Covington and her colleagues, Dr. Bloom and Dr. Owen, no one working with incarcerated women talked about how trauma lived under the skin and in our DNA. That book helped me to understand my history of trauma and opened me up to cry about what I'd been through. I connected with other women who had similar experiences. I learned that when we start to share our pain with each other, we can help each other. That is the important work that Dr. Covington offers. She gives us a chance to look both inward and outward, to accept responsibility for what was our doing, and to understand the harm that came to us that was not our doing. I benefited directly from the work she did, and I would not have been able to rise above my pain without her work. I'm just one of the many sparkles from the diamond she created. Today, I am the founder and ambassador at the Time for Change Foundation. The mission of TFCF is to empower disenfranchised, low-income individuals and families by building leadership through evidence-based programs and housing, creating self-sufficiency, and thriving communities. Since we started in 2002, we have helped reunite 315 children from foster care with their mothers, and we have helped over 1,700 homeless women and children become self-sufficient through our supportive housing and innovative programs. The Time for Change Foundation is now considered the model of excellence across the globe for empowering disenfranchised families transitioning from homelessness and recidivism. Additionally, I'm the president and CEO of the Center for Housing Advancement and Motivational Projects, where I train probation, parole, and other community-based organizations to effectively implement evidence-based programs and services, the programs and services that actually work. I went from being homeless to building affordable housing for low-income women. I went from breaking laws to making laws, and now I work with others to do the same. Inspired by public health, I created a social ecological epidemiological model coined the disease of incarceration to articulate incarceration as a public health issue, a model that was accepted by the American Public Health Association. Using this model for our programmatic services and interventions has yielded tremendous success with great impact in the lives of the people we serve.